What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. We are approaching the end of the year. Yeah, we going into 2024, man. Time be going by fast, man. Again, man, thank God, man, that we live in another day. May all who watch and continue to live. But that's not on you. God grant you that. Man, now, it's on you how soon you go. But for the most part, not on you. God give you breath. God give you life. God the reason for your heartbeat, man. Brothers, y'all better be wise, man. Brothers and sisters, be wise. Stop taking that for granted. Again, tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. Y'all got, y'all are witnesses to family, friends, loved ones that then passed away and left that used to be here. That they can get it together before they left. You can't fix their situation, but you sure can fix yours. So always acknowledge God. Trust in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in him with your heart, man. But we're approaching the end of this year, man. You see, times are getting real, real bad. Homecoming 2 is taking place. The URL and I'm always changing stuff around, man. So for the first three years, we was having, at the closing of the year, volume, volume battles, closing out the year. Now... We having this um, homecoming. Always, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it ain't broke, then don't try to fix it. You think of the summers of the past, adjust the base to let the alpine blast bump in my. Let me ready rhyme. Put your cards on cruise and lay back, cause this is summertime. Anyway, um. You're always changing something. But I'm loving this card. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this card. Sirius Jones. Hope he can still stay on fire. Going up against Geechee Guy. You having a phenomenal year. Definitely hands down. No argument. No debate. Should be champion of the year. Literally. I'm talking about easily. Nobody did nothing in battle rap history ever that he did. That impact alone trumps out anything people did this year. Shouts out to Gotti on that, man. Also, you got Ace I mean been cooking up. Him and Shotgun should. That should be good. Rex and Chess. That potentially can be good. Mook and twerk. Yep, that can potentially be good. Hustle and arsenal. Arsenal. That that could be good. I'm liking this card. Fire card. And I know the surprise battle, but I wait. Fire card. That other battle too. That surprise battle fire too. That that maybe can be battle of the night. That surprise battle might could be battle of the night. I'm just being realistic. I'm just keeping it real. Those two guys fire. And so very underappreciated. We got Dot Mob on the car. Rex and Moo. Two blood cousins. Them brothers real blood cousins. A lot of people thought they were just cool with each other. But no, they real blood family. And those guys are highly competitive against one another. I be on the phone with them. They... A very competitive against each other. I said to myself, what is the dream battle of all time for battle rap? 
And I thought about it. And it didn't even take me long. That's the ultimate dream battle for battle rap. Rex versus Mook. Yeah. And I know them dudes competitive nature against each other. And I asked them about that one day too. We were talking and I told them, I said, listen, man. The biggest money battle ever in battle rap history. You and Mook. There is not a matchup in battle rap as big as that ever. Ever. Would you consider doing it? Would you ever do it? Yeah, I asked them that. They said, yeah. In fact, let me tell you something y'all ain't been knowing. They've been building up for it. They, you know you know these guys be, be into it with each other, right? So y'all don't really know. Y'all don't know. Let me put you in on the little thing. Some things is already mentioned, and y'all just ain't paid attention to it. And I'm not moved. Remember that? That keep popping up, don't it? Mm-hmm. Remember Mook released the, the the diss song on Rex? When he was going into, what's that battle he was going into? He was going into one of them battles, man. Oh, what's the name of that? Uh, come on, man. I, I'm, I'm out of pocket, man. Like, hold on a second, man. Wait, where my damn gavel at? Here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. No, 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 no. Man, get out of here with that trash, man. You always losing. Yeah, I had to bang the gavel on my damn cell phone that one. I, I was out of pocket. But so when I clicked it, I thought about it. It was the battle versus shine. When Rex was going into the shine battle, according to Mook, when he dropped that diss, that diss, on Rex, Mook said, I was just trying to motivate you. you station to not play with Shine and take it easy on him. But I want you fired up. Rex didn't buy it, but oh well, if that was your reason. After Mook smoked Big K, a lot of people began to campaign against him and his loss, even though he clearly beat Big K. But a lot of people began to campaign against him because, you know, hated is the one who wear the crown. And that's a prime example of it because he clearly won that battle and was hated terribly about it. And Big K was feeling himself, looking like he can possibly win champion of the year since the people forced, tried to force a win versus Moot on him. Though the man was caught stealing bars, even though the man had them light nursery rhymes, even though some of that stuff fell flat, even though... <laughs> A lot of people want to force the loss on. But however, shortly after that, Rex was booked to take him. Mook was asked about it, like, what you think about the upcoming battle, Rex versus Mook? I mean, Rex versus Big K. Mook responds, what? He took that battle? Oh, Big K in trouble. Why he take that battle? In an interview, I believe it was uh, No Bar. Like, why you say that? Why you Why you say that? He like, cuz, you don't know Rex. Like, me and Rex in heavy competition with each other. I just came 
Rex gonna try to kill him because he always try to outdo me. Rex is going to try to kill him because he always trying to outdo me. And if y'all think uh, 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 I beat him, Rex is going to try to do him worse than me. Worse than what I did. And let's just keep it real. A lot of people is saying that Rex beat him more convincingly than Mook. I thought it may have been equal but that's how people look at it. The majority of people looking at it like that. Even though, again, that's neither here nor there. So, Mook was like, no, nah, y'all don't know what y'all are talking about. Because dude, dude, he, he be battling against me. Everything I do, he try to outdo. He try to out top. Which recently, uh, Rex went on record saying in his chest face off. I'm not here trying to battle you. You said, I'm battling Moot. You just, you just standing here. I'm here to battle Moot. To have a better performance than him. And Mook feel the same way. So even though Mook getting himself ready to battle twerk. And T-Rex getting himself ready to battle chess. Behind the scene they both. Betting with one another. Who going to be better that night. Who going to do their opponent worse. That's what they betting on. They also like betting on. So at homecoming, Mook and Rex going against each other. They got something on the line. They got their pride on the line. They know the people going to be saying that same thing. Who, who you think did better? Who y'all think going to do better? Mook or Rex. They know. They understand the lingo. And part of them want to know too. I be listening to them when they be having up and coming battles. When we'll be on the phone. Them dudes do not like getting help from each other. You know that? Mook don't like getting help from Rex. Rex don't like getting help from Mook. I'm like, man, y'all sure y'all cousins? And they argue a lot. Man, you sure you cousins? Are y'all real cousins or cousins? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Day Day. That's your cousin. Good. You fine. <laughs> and you fire too. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, they real cousins. And that night is going to be going down because they really, really, really at each other to see who going <laughs> to come on with the come on. Who going to have a throw down. Who y'all got? Y'all got Rex over Mook or Mook over Rex or who's going to be better that night? Who's going to do their opponent worse? It could go either way. You could be like, well, Rex might smoke chess because chess got a reputation of choking, but twerk the same way. He got a reputation of choking. But you can possibly beat who you're going up against, but still to have better material than the other person. Mm. So that's what Rex let it be known. And that's what Moot saying too. They competing against each other. They pride is on the line. A few dollars is on the line. You remember Rex and Summer Madness? I see Smack brought back the star. 
You got Murder Moot, Loaded Lux, Iron Solomon. But I'm still the best on this card. Remember that? Yeah. Always in competition with each other. Starting to bother Rex. Starting to bother Mook. This is a big thing, real big. They know where the money at. Eventually, that's going down. That's going down. That's the million dollar dream battle alone in itself. That's going to make history. That's going to make history. Facts. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Because my hands is heavy and ball in making that happen. And y'all going to get to see it. Because this is the era we live in. When things was in the dark, it's come to the light. This is the era we live in. I don't know, man. I don't know. We going to see, though. Rex and Mook. Who y'all got at homecoming? You got Rex going to have... Rex going to have a better showing than Mook, or Mook going to have a better showing than Rex? What we doing, y'all? Bustin' no streets for you, leave me waitin' on you Bustin' no streets for you, 